scared of a little bit of change. These big shows have been the same way for so long. I mean, it could make it better, couldn't it? I think they'll survive. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, who remembers East 17? Of I know course we do. We do. Right, so during their reign in the charts, the boys bagged themselves, oh, only 18 top 20 hits and uh, only 20 million records sold. Anyway, they did very much put Walthamstow on the map. Yeah, they've been a bit quiet over the last few years, but now they're back, armed with a new lineup and a new sound. We'll be asking them about that in just a minute. But first, let's take a trip down memory lane. <laughs> That took me well back to the yeah. childhood. Boys, thank you very much for coming on the show. Thanks How did it make you feel yeah, listening to a few of those? Well. Quite, uh, Quite funny, really. <laughs> Quite funny. Well, I said the first couple of songs, you was cracking up. Yeah, we was. Because well, in, in your day, you're kind of very, you know, you got stylish, you're very cool, you're very on the button, but obviously 20 years later, you're not as cool as you yeah. thought the, the it was. The snow hoodies, that was the one <laughs> that done you, wasn't it? Yeah, there's some good looks going yeah, on there. Yeah, there were some looks. Very nice. But I've got to point out, obviously, the lineup has changed. Yeah. So, Blair, you've replaced Brian. How did you get involved? Um, basically, I was a songwriter prior to doing this, um, and I was writing at my studio out in Swindon. And I knew Terry from before, and he contacted me basically just, just to come in and do some songs with me. And the boys came in, they didn't have Brian as a part of the lineup. Mm. So the idea was it was kind of going to be a rap album, but it was getting a bit samey samey. So we were going to get a feature, we were going to get like a female feature originally. And I laid down some vocals, and, and the boys just like for someone else to learn, the boys liked it. Mm. And, um, and they. Do you want to be in my band? Do you want to be in our band? <laughs> okay, so bearing in mind the point is for you to, to come back on a, spot, on, on a scene and do very, very well. Um, are you nervous about taking someone's place? I'm not. I mean, we've done a couple of gigs already, like ab abroad mainly, mm. haven't we? Like mm. Russia and Ireland and stuff like that. And initially it was a little bit different for me because I thought, how are the, how are the fans going to react if you like? Because obviously I'm not Brian. Um, and. I got the, the faces, you know, the grrr faces when I first got there, <laughs> like the pirate faces. Who's this guy? But, yeah, yeah, who is this guy? But afterwards, like, once I performed and stuff, like, they were really welcoming and stuff like that. So, but, I mean, there's a battle. It's the beginning at the moment. I expect people to say, ooh, you're not Brian or whatever. But, but I mean, Brian was great at what he did when he did mm. it. It's, it's, a, it's a big glove to feel to come in, and, and it's, it's an honour, really, to come in and do it. Well, I should imagine the fans are quite welcoming with your, your fantastic physique. Looks good, you're not, doesn't it? You're quite a unit. Chocolate biscuits and... Well, she noticed that. I did not. I wasn't... I'm joking. Don't be worried. Don't blush. Yeah, she's she's right. Right. Tony, can you explain to us why, because you're obviously the original member, why um, Brian isn't with us? Uh, he's doing his solo thing. Mm. So me and Tell said, we'll come, we'll come back. We'll just see how it goes. Me, John, Tell, we'll come back. We'll see how it goes. There's no pressure on us. He wants to do his solo thing, so cool. So, you know, the door's open if he wants to come back or he wants to do a song. Right. That's cool. And just in case anyone is confused, but where's Terry? Yeah. Tell's he's on holiday. He's on holiday. <laughs> he's on holiday. <laughs> he's on holiday. He's left you do the work yeah. and he's yeah. gone off on his job. No, he had, yeah, he, nah. did, he had it booked for a long time and, like, we didn't really... It's just got, it's got manic really, really quickly. We yeah. didn't realise yeah. it was going to happen Which like this as fast as it is. Where's he gone? Let's hope he's gone somewhere nice. I don't know. Where has he gone? Cornwall. No, no, he's gone to Lanzarote. He's gone to Lanzarote. He's gone for a bit of fun. He's gone to Lanzarote. Love it. Now, John, we have got a clip of the new single, so let's take a listen to this. we are Secret 
of my life is the title. It's quite a different sound for you guys. How did you arrive at this single? Um, well, I think I think it's quite cheesy, but it's very pop, which is good. It's you know what I mean? Too cheesy. I would oh, say. that's what a few of my mates have been saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, cheers. I'm like, no, I like it. And the video, I think, is brilliant. Do you know what I mean? Compared to our old videos, it's got a nice relaxed vibe. Yeah, to it. yeah, and, yeah. And I did it's one that was doing the backflip. Was it? That was anyway. me. That was me. I just put a bit of hair on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in two places at once. So this is the serious question because obviously uh, you're 17, and um, you know I, I guess a lot of people are going to expect you to produce something that's actually quite reminiscent of the past. But obviously the market has changed a hell of a lot. Mm. So how are you going to? Uh, what are you going to? What sort of sound are you looking for? Um, I think it'd be maturer, uh, it'd be more of a live sound. So we'll be using live drums and that on the album. Um, everything's gone live. Yeah, now. everything's and, like, gone you, live. You look at the music industry. Look at people like Adele. You know, great artists that are out there at the moment. Like it has predominantly gone live. It, mm. it, it's not about sort of miming in front of a camera anymore. It's, it's about mm. going out there and really being able to do it. Mm. So, so we have to move with the times. Essentially, you mm. know, the boys have come forward, and as a collective, now we've, we've decided it should be a m more mature kind of sound. But are you two missing the '90s? Because I remember back then you were kind of like the it? bad boy version of Take That, really. Yeah, will we? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it was that bad. I think it was just we was totally the opposite of take that. Do you know what I mean? I think obviously we just told it how it was, and we was really real. Mm. You know what you see is what you get with us. Mm. But obviously we've taken that back in their day. It was like I think there's a few lies going on. You're like we, they don't do this, they don't do that, they don't have girlfriends. But we was like, yeah, we smoke, we drink, we do this. You know, so I think it's just. I think we just look more streety and that. You know. Do you yeah. think the comparisons between you and take that are gonna come back again? Hope so. Because <laughs> then, then it builds them back up right again, on you know? It, actually, yeah. yeah, they're yeah no, they're doing wicked. I'd love yeah. to be where they are now, you know? I mean, they, they started again uh, without Robbie, mm. and then all of a sudden he come back in the fold. Now, do you think mm. that there is chance of a progression where, where Brian might come back into and the fold be, with you, you guys? No, yeah, yeah, we could be a five piece. Mm. That'd be cool. Well, yeah, are you going out on yeah. tour? What's, what's next for you guys? The single's out next month, isn't it? Well, we, secret yeah, we've got to go to Germany. Okay. And do a, a week tour out there, and then we got to come back, rehearse for the tour over here. Yeah, it's September. Se well, it's, what's the 31st of August? 31st of August. It starts in Bristol. Date. It's the O2 Academy tour. Okay. Um, it's two weeks, sort of pretty much everywhere up and down the country. Yeah, brilliant. Um, Look so that'd be to good. That'd be wicked. No, I was wondering because you're called A17, does that mean that you live in A17? Yeah, we do still you live to... there. You no, do? No, we don't know. No. Oh, <laughs> you've moved out. Yeah, I'm yeah. in uh, near Bishop Stalkford, right. and down them yeah. side. What's the postcode for that? Uh, CM22. So we've got to we, change, we the change the name. We won't change the name. Right. Yeah, yeah no, don't CM. change it. Leave it as it is. <laughs> not quite as catchy. No. <laughs> Boys, thank you very much for thank coming you. to see us. Good luck with the tour and we obviously did. a single as well. Thank, thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks Cheers. very much, guys. And uh, later on, we'll be bringing you the rest of the day's celebrity news.